Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of SideQuest, and today I want to talk about a game I've absolutely been loving the past few months, and that is Doom Eternal. I didn't get the game when it first came out. I actually uh, didn't really get around to playing it until Thanksgiving of 2020, when it went on sale. When it went on sale at on Steam, and I can say I was honestly not prepared for what I was about to play when I loaded up Doom Eternal. I played probably the first 45 minutes to an hour and when I stopped I had to kind of like when I stopped playing I had to like adjust myself I had to kind of like get my bearing straight because I had a legitimate adrenaline rush going like blood was pumping I was hyped awake from how awesome this game was I mean it just absolutely kicked ass and that, I mean, that's just how good it is. Uh, as a matter of fact, I might even say that it has maybe dethroned the king himself, Duke Nukem, as my favorite FPS game of all time. Doom Eternal might just edge it out. And, uh, you know, part of me really loving this game is probably also due to the fact that I skipped over Doom 2016. I didn't have the means to play that at the time, and it wasn't really until 2020 this year when I got uh, a PC to play the game. So I went into this kind of I'm well, not really blind, but, you know, having not played the previous game, I was just absolutely in love with it. I mean, every single combat encounter just has this wonderful ebb and flow to it, uh, mainly due to three big things. I mean, first and foremost being the gunplay. Oh my god, are the guns awesome in this game. I mean, the, the classic lineup of Doom guns come back with a couple of new ones, and they're all just... They just pack so much punch. Like, the shotgun sounds great. The super shotgun just sounds like an absolute beast. Um, I love the, I don't think it's the con, the, the unmaker, but it's the, the, other, the kind of like shotgun, or shotgun, the kind of a uh, grenade launcher alternative that shoots lasers. That thing is excellent. And of course the grenade launcher and plasma gun are back. And what really is great about them is that um, not only do they pair well with certain monsters, but they also have gun mods so your and your different gun mods also kind of help pair with different monsters so for example uh if i'm fighting like a makey by or makeybis or an arachnotron i'll typically use the regular shotgun be with the sticky bomb mod because the sticky bombs can attach to their weak points and help me take them down faster or you know say um use the, the use the super shotgun with the meat hook for cackle demons if they're unreachable if they're in an unreachable spot or again use the shotgun with the sticky bombs to, to insta kill them or using the chain gun with the shield the chain gun shield is fantastic for bigger enemies like the cyber demon or the cyber mancubi so you kind of have this this element of strategy and and um another one is is the snake demons that slither around they're super fast and they're very hard to hit um so using something like the lock-on mod on your grenade launcher uh, works fantastic for those. So there is kind of like this real-time strategy um, for for uh, taking down demons. And what goes hand in hand with that is kind of reason too why this game is so great, and that's the glory kill system. So not only are you having to, to kind of strategize with which gun you're using, but you also have to strategize on which demon I'm going to take out first. Okay, well let me. Typically, I find myself going, all right. Well, let me take down the the biggest threat first. Okay, so. You know, oh, okay, there's a uh, there's a Ragnatron over here. Let me try and take him down, but make sure I, I, I leave a couple of smaller enemies over here, like some zombies or some shotgunners, uh, just in case this Ragnatron messes me up, and I can go and glory kill them for some extra health, because that's the big thing. You have to incorporate the glory kill into your play, because that's your main method of getting your health back. And on top of that, it is just absolutely satisfying to use i mean you you whittling down an enemy and all of a sudden sudden it starts flashing and you just do as doom guy does rip and tear you tear them apart and it's so great to get like a nice chain going you're taking down say a wave of enemies and one starts flashing you go to him you come back and you shotgun somebody and immediately glory kill them and then the next it just feels so satisfying i mean it's just like a head rush every single time and just how quick 
and graphic it is, like, oh, I'm gonna, oh, just cut this demon's head off, or, oh, I'm taking this Arachnotron's bomb and shoving it into its mouth and it explodes. It's so good. I mean, I can't, uh, like, overstate that enough, just how satisfying this game is. And, um, of course, with uh, the glory kills, like I said, they are you kind of your 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 main method of health. And again, that that strategy of leaving this alive so that I can take down this and possibly use or health farm these enemies over here. And of course, it's kind of the same way with ammo. So again, strategize. Let me use say all right. I'm going to use my chain gun on this cyber demon and uh, leave some of these uh, imps over here for when I run out of ammo and need to go chainsaw them to get my ammo back. That's something I absolutely love about it. Again, you just kind of have this real-time strategy of, all right, I need to figure out what to kill first and what not to kill uh, so that I can take down this horde of enemies in the best way possible. Because the game isn't easy, like, trust me. I mean, I played it on the easiest difficulty on my first playthrough. It was... It was decently tough until I got good. <laughs> I had to, to get used to the constantly moving around and dashing. And speaking of that, that's kind of reason number three why this game is so fantastic. Is the movement is excellent. Mm, for the most part. The first few levels where you don't have uh, your double dash or your double jump yet. Or the upgrade that allows you to have tighter, uh, more precise air movement. They, they do drag a little bit, and, and encounters really blossom into an extravagant um, strategic game as soon as you have all of the dashes and jumps, because then you have more maneuverability around the different demons. So, for example, uh, I mean, I don't think the pinkies show up until you have the double jump, but the pinkies can now only be hit from the back. That's what she said. Um... So you have, so what I do in most encounters is I wait for them to charge at me, double jump over them, quickly turn around and give them a nice shotgun. Uh, or deal with them that way, or a nice grenade. And on top of that, you know, demons are pretty precise with their shots, so having to dash and weave out of the way is a great way uh, of, yeah, of moving out of the way. Or you see an enemy that's, uh, you're in desperate need of health, and an enemy starts flashing for their glory kill state, and you have to quickly dash to them, or you have to double dash to them because they're quite far away. You know, it's always important. To, I mean, and the movement is just so good and plays into that very, very well. Um, I think my only gripe, probably the platforming, that I think rears its ugly head more times than it really should. Uh, especially, in, like I said, in those early levels where you don't have your double jump or the double dash. Some of the platforming is way too long and drawn out. And it's not like it's terrible, but... It's, it just kind of slows down the momentum. I mean, it, uh, I get why it's there. It's to help kind of break up the monotony of not just, you know, fighting horde after horde. But that's what I found most enjoyable in the game. But the platforming isn't a deal breaker by any means. But I wish it was handled a little better. Especially some of the longer platforming sections where you can't quite see the entire pattern in full. So you're having to, to, to jump to a platform that may only stay in the air for a couple of seconds. And then you have to make a snap judgment and figure out where exactly you have to uh, then dash to next to, to keep the pattern going. I mean, other than that, the game's nearly perfect. Holy hell is this game just fantastic. Um, I mean, of course, there are other elements like the uh, the graphics are great. I kind of love that they've uh, stepped back from some of the redesigns in 2016 and brought in uh, like kind of a... Um, they, they've kind of gone back to the classic designs of certain things like um, the zombie men and the sh or the, the shotgunners and stuff like that. Some of the, the characters now have a nice... Uh, they look and feel more true to their classic iterations um, and look great. Uh, oh, I didn't mention this, but um, one thing that is also absolutely satisfying about this game is the fact that uh, enemies start to degrade the more you know bullets you, you put into them. So say you shoot like a rocket at a like a cackle demon or you put some shotgun shots into it its face will start to degrade or or it'll be missing half of its face and, and maybe his rib cage will be exposed there's just this instant gratification to like every shot you lay into an enemy it's fantastic boy is it great um i mean yeah what can i say about doom eternal that hasn't been said before it just makes you feel like an absolute badass you really just want to rip and tear through the whole game 
Um, and yeah, of course, my my uh, recommendation here is you know nothing new. Everybody else has been ranting and raving about the game, but I really did just want to come in and gush about my love I have for this game and how much fun it has been. I've been really wanting to do this for a little while now. But yes, I think that's going to do it for this episode of SideQuest on me gushing about how much I love Doom Eternal. Uh, anyways, until next time, I'll see you then.